I, I categorically deny any act or conduct that could be considered as animal cruelty ever. Tiger King star Doc Antle is exclusively sharing his reaction to his indictment on wildlife trafficking charges from the Virginia State Attorney General. I'm terribly shocked and disappointed at the charges that have been filed against me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and how they've sought to involve my daughters in this stuff. Just crazy. An October 9th press release from the Attorney General's office announced that the Myrtle Beach Safari owner had been charged with one felony count of wildlife trafficking one felony count of conspiracy to wildlife traffic, and 13 additional misdemeanor charges. His daughters, Tawny Antle and Tillicum Watterson, are also facing misdemeanor charges. Antle had this to say when Access Hollywood asked him about the accusations. I spend my entire life um, being a professional and promoting the welfare and conservation of big cats and other species, and I have deep regard for their feelings, for the animals that are in my care, and I would never abuse or hurt any of them. They're my whole life. I have 80 big cats who live here with me who are in full contact with us like no one else in the world. That's why 25 million people follow us on social media, because of the incredible content we have with our amazing relationship with our big cats. The Attorney General's Office's announcement of wildlife trafficking charges against Antle also mentioned additional charges against a man named Keith A. Wilson, the owner of Wilson's Wild Animal Park in Winchester, Virginia. The office's animal law unit conducted a months-long investigation into Antle and Wilson's relationship and argued that they trafficked lion cubs between Virginia and South Carolina. Antle explained his association with Wilson to Access Hollywood. Keith is a zookeeper that I have known for probably almost 40 years. He runs a very small, very kind of family, homebody, little farm zoo. And he's operated that facility there in Winchester, Virginia for all this time. Intermittently, I have had some dealings with him about different wildlife that he's working on conserving and taking care of. And uh, he particularly over a long time ran a big, beautiful lion habitat and had good success with his lions being healthy and being beautiful and, and reproducing a few offspring. Antel also told Access that he had acquired lion cubs from Wilson. Keith, over the many years, has had a few litters of lions, lion cubs. Those lion cubs are not something that he's going to keep at his facility, nor is he the guy to have the time and expertise to raise young lions. As a couple of litters of lions were born, I acquired those lions and allowed them to live at our preserve, and they live here still today. News of Antle's indictment was met with celebration from the organization PETA, whose Deputy General Counsel of Captive Animal Law Enforcement told Access in part in a statement the dominoes are falling one by one. Nearly every animal abuser featured in Tiger King is now in custody, out of business, or facing administrative or criminal charges. And the president and CEO of the Humane Society of the United States shared a statement which read in part, Antle's indictment comes as no surprise to us and makes a clean sweep of the cruel characters featured front and center in the series Tiger King. Antle is the latest Tiger King star to face legal troubles. Joe Exotic is currently serving a federal prison sentence after being convicted on charges of animal abuse and murder for hire last year. Antle told Access that his new digital series, Tiger Kingdom, will feature some updates on Exotic and other Tiger King stars that don't believe they got a fair shake in the original docuseries. It is a new series about many of the unanswered questions and crazy accusations that were made in Tiger King. It talks a little bit more about what's happening with Joe. Joe's called me a number of times uh, from his place there incarcerated. Also, Joe's husband, um, Dylan, has come out and seen us, and uh, as well as Ann, the nurse and person who kind of cares for Joe and does his legal business. We've, got, we've had all of them out to talk with them about what's happened, and also some of the other people that were at play in Tiger King that were kind of deeply insulted and kind of uh, shown to be less than virtuous. Some of those characters have come on board and told their story of what they think took place with the director and how the edit really turned them into villains when really they're stand-up characters that really work for the betterment of animals and the betterment of the planet as their sole desire. And Tiger King kind of made them appear to be villains.